he made his first-class cricket debut for Auckland in 1889-90, playing five matches as a middle-order batsman and opening bowler. He had little success with the bat, but took eight wickets in two matches against the touring New South Wales team, including figures of 5 for 35 in the first match. In his first match he top scored with 62 in an innings victory over Taranaki. He was selected for North Island against New South Wales in 1893-94, second top scoring in each innings with 39 and 21. Now captaining Hawk Espey, he played a leading part in the match against Wellington in 1895-96, making 14 and 41 and taking 4 for 18 and 7 for 53. He made his debut for New Zealand in 1896-97, making 59 and 23 in a victory over Queensland. He was the only Hawk S Bay player to represent New Zealand during Hawk S Bay S period as a first-class side, 1884-1921. With 250 runs at an average of 31.25, he was the highest scoring New Zealand batsman of the season. In the first match the next season Lusk scored his and Hawk S Bay S first century, 119 in a loss to Canterbury. It was the highest score of the season, and again he topped the national run tally, this time with 280 runs at 40.00. He went on New Zealand S short tour of Australia in 1898-99, but had little success in the two first class games. In 1900-01 he scored his second century, 120, when he led Hawk S Bay to an innings victory over Auckland. He played his last first-class match, still as captain of Hawk S Bay, in 1909, just before his 43rd birthday. Lusk became crown solicitor for Hawk S Bay in 1902, succeeding another cricketer, Arthur Cotterill.